My sister Rachel, she wants to move to Houston, Texas with her boyfriend, and strange boyfriend, or mystery boyfriend, acquaintance boyfriend, who knows boyfriend? How is she supposed to trust someone that she hasn't even known about or haven't even figured about? It's just plain simple and weird is all like what is with your concaz and and you know what Hughes of Texas is known for, right? Huh storms, we had different storms, tornado storms, hurricane storms, weather storms, thunderstorms, rain storms. And Rachel wants to live in that area. Hmm. Wow, Rachel, you want to be in the storm gate. Uh, what is with you? And New Mexico, Albuquerque is known for dry weather, uh, windy weather, fire weather, fire seasons, um, pollen weather, <laughs> um, Monsoon weather, which is usually in the middle of um, summer, and that's all she wrote. Yeah, that's all she wrote. I was like, okay, Albuquerque is only known for a certain degree and nothing major like, you know what, that's what she really wants. And she needs to lose weight. She is really heavy. Rachel is very heavy. I don't really mean to be so unsecure of her own passion and her ways. Sometimes I just get a little bit confused on what to say. You know, it's like, oh God, this is a little bit weird. And, you know, I try my best to be the coolest brother in ways. I'm always trying to spoil her sometimes. And sometimes I just wish she has a little bit more, you know, a better knowledge of what she thinks about. She gets confused frequently. Literally. Frequently. They just lost their Comcast cable. They only had it for three months and they lost it. What happened is they haven't paid the bill for three months. When they first got it, they haven't paid it. Since they've been broke, broke, oh yeah, broke. It's just because my mom said, yes, I want Comcast. And we thought, I'm not going to pay for it. It's like, oh good. It's like, what is with you? You're not supposed to say yes to something. You're not going to afford it. It's just, ugh. You got to be sincere. You got to be knowing how to budget. Cause we're on a budget, man. You know? Life isn't gonna be fair with you if you don't know what you're gonna do. You got to know what you're doing or you're gonna be having some difficulties in the long run. She just had a difficulty of paying something off and she goes crazy. So stop being weird about if you can't do nothing bad. Allah. I just don't understand you. <laughs> I, I do feel bad for certain people that who goes through a lot of terrible times in life. I mean, practical, that's occasionally normal in a certain way. But even though you don't mean it, that you don't want it, for anything bad to happen in your life. It just happens. Like, you can't predict anything that happens in life. Even if you want to, you know, say, like, you know, if, like, psychic or medium, they'll probably tell you just a little bit of what your life is going to be like, but you thought that's just the wrong way to go. But I'm a pretty, you know, decent guy. I try to stay out of the 
the wrong way or the bad ways or something like that. I try my best to stay in the right path, you know, for success. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky, and I'm very independent at my job so far. Even though it's getting harder and harder, and oh yeah, and harder. It's just more pressure and more rushing and more everything. And even though for me being an independent worker, it's just, uh, it burdens you. It's just, uh, it gets you more, 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 more exhausted. That's all. Sometimes this life is just so awkward. But what can I tell you? Life is just not the way you want it to be. But sometimes you just have to take it like it is. Be like, be a, just take it like a man. And just, you know, deal with it, I guess. <laughs> deal with life that throws at you. Even though it might be bad. But what can I, what can you do? You can't stop it. No, you can't stop it. It's just not right. Well, you want it to be right, but whatever, right? Okay, bye-bye.